Hey guys, what is up? It's Shady Green Pie, and welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be focusing on a rainbow background, uh, rainbow gradient background effect. Uh, if you want to see last time's tutorial, you can click here for a light beam tutorial. And next time, um, this is where you come in. You leave a comment below telling me what you want to learn, and I'll try and get around to doing it. And I should release that video next Tuesday. So, um, open up Photoshop, and you want to create a new file always like to keep my resolution at about 300 because I don't know it's just nice to be able to scale things up and down without losing the quality um, I have a very odd shaped uh, desktop which is 1366 by 768 you want to create a desktop size unless you're working for something else go ahead and click OK press D to get your default colors and now with this you want to flip them hold control press delete and that should turn your background black and now you want to create a new layer and with this new layer you want to go to your paint bucket tool and just fill that in white and go up here to filter render fibers uh, put the variance to about 20 that works best um, strength don't want it too strong just put it at 4 yeah uh, okay once you've got that you want to go back up to filter blur motion blur for this one you want the angle normally it'll be set around I don't know whatever you've lost put it as but you want the angle as 90 degrees and the distance as 999 once you've got that um, go ahead and click OK now right click on this layer 1 and go on to blending options and with the blending you want to go to gradient overlay and then we'll go for the rainbow one click OK and set the angle to 0 I can't uh, blend mode to overlay and it should look somewhat like this once you've got that you want to right click the layer and go to convert to smart object drag the layer down here to the new layer icon and with this layer selected go back up to filter other and go on to high pass put this uh, it's completely up to you whatever makes the colors stand out like um, whatever gives darkest shadows lightest highlights whatever you want completely up to you I'm going to go for 22.3 Alright, um, change the blending mode to overlay and now take these two layers, hold control and click the other layer and then hold control and press E to merge the layers together. Once you've got that you want to create a new layer. No you don't. You want to go back into your blending options. This bit is completely up to you, it just gives that sort of sheen effect. Go to gradient overlay, have it on black to white, change the blend mode to overlay. No don't change it to overlay that's stupid don't ever do that go to hard light there you go um you can change the gradient to to your liking completely up to you so if you wanted I don't know say it to not be as uh as covered um do it like that i, I don't even know what words to use uh, click OK and there you go another one another example is this blue one just instead of using a rainbow gradient I used well a blue gradient there a blue gradient so there you go there's a quick rainbow gradient effect um, yeah leave a comment below what you want to see next time and I'll be sure to put it in so I hope you've enjoyed this if you haven't already subscribe like favorite do whatever and see you soon